Hello everyone, this is Aaron Fit from ATF Gaming. Hey guys, John here. And welcome back to the F1 2017 Championship. Today, we are going to China. Oh boy. Which, for John at least, is one of his worst tracks. Um, mm -hmm. So just as a refresher of what happened last time, we were at Australia. Results are on the screen because that was the only race we did. Um, right. so I'm fourth, John is fifth in the points, um, doing math, we are currently second in the Constructors' Championship for Red Bull behind Ferrari, Indeed. um, since Hamilton did not get points last race. Right. So. Big day for Force India. Yeah. In Australia. Yeah. So. So, yeah, yeah. we are heading off to China, which, uh has some uh, very interesting turns and some pretty sharp hairpins, so this will be fun. Indeed. Let's do this. All right, let's see where we qualify. I am taking the green flag now. Aaron is a little bit behind because, again, we are trying to be smart about when we start our qualifying laps, not getting each other's way. Which is amazing, considering yeah, usually we're, we're not very smart at all. For this lap, I've got Perez right in front of me, Vettel a little ways behind me. Hopefully that is not an issue of any kind. I do seem to be catching Perez kind of quickly mm -hmm. here. See if you can stay ahead of Vettel. Yeah, that's going to be important. Uh, one thing to note is that rain is imminent. Mm -hmm. Which means that the lap times we get in this first run or two is pretty much going to be the fastest laps that we can set. But yeah. also for them as well. Yeah. So I am heading, uh, not heading, I've just started my lap into our least favorite corner of all time. Indeed. Well, barring anything from Monaco. Well, yeah, Monaco is an exception to the rule. Indeed. It was not a great, great corner for me there. Some might have noticed that I had to lift a little bit there because I just did not feel confident. I am keeping the balance set up this time. We're going to go with that for now. Ooh, okay. We'll definitely make a second lap Good. here, assuming rain stays away. That's me getting the fastest lap. Let's see what Vettel runs. He is faster. By uh -huh. a... S oh, God! Oh. Well, I've crashed. <laughs> <laughs> Guy was coming off pit road. For some reason, I just did not react properly in time. Slammed right into him. Did you get a penalty? Nope. All right, so that's good. And we don't have damage on, so that's beneficial. Yeah, um, what I was going to say is Vettel was eight tenths quicker than me on what I felt like, aside from one little lift, was a pretty good lap. So, mm -hmm. my guess is um, I will not be in contention for the win unless the rain makes a difference. As we've said in the past, I think we said it last, I don't know if it even came up, but um, AI in the rain, not quite as good typically as we are so. Mm -hmm. so i'm third behind you right now okay interesting so definitely have room to improve yeah i have a little room to improve you probably have more because typically you're faster than me here yeah def that last hairpin i was really slow on so there's a couple spots that i keep having to lift because the car keeps getting tight on me tighter than i'm used to mm-hmm Excuse me, understeer? Yes. No, you, the proper vernacular. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, and uh, I messed up. Great. I'm still a little better, but I don't think it'll be enough. Would I that be a turn of events if you out-qualify me at your least favorite track besides Monaco? Right. Interesting. Oh, no. Well, this lap is now shot as well. And you know what? I'm just going to retire. It's two consecutive crap laps. There's no point in 
going for another one that would just take too freaking long. So we will watch you as you finish your lap. Alright, this is where I messed up last time, and I still kind of messed up this time. But it was better, at least. I just totally freaked up the, uh, the snail. <laughs> uh, that's what that was for me. Alright, I'm ahead of you now. I'm still behind Vettel, but we'll call Dang that it. good. Trick you. <laughs> By how much? Uh, not much. Less than a tenth. And Botas ends up beating us as well. All right, but we're ahead of Raikkonen, so that's a good I am sign. I'm curious of something. Did everybody get out before the rain hit? I'm going to guess so. Boy, Ericsson got a five-grid penalty, so he is dead last. But that's kind of where we expect him to be anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much where he's supposed to be. But we're pretty darn close. Um, oh, oh, his grid penalty was for ramming me as he came off pit road. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. I knew it wasn't my fault. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't get a penalty, though. Usually, if one, one AI gets the penalty, you get the penalty as well. Right, yeah. All right. Well, but let's see. We will, will it be it, rain? Will it be rain? Part of me kind of wants to see that. <laughs> Part of me doesn't. Yep, it's raining. Okay, and we are on intermediates. Intermediates and not what? <laughs> intermediates. Shut up. Um, so the forecast is showing that it's going to stop raining before the end and just yes. be cloudy. So, so that and, could add some strategy into this. Should we then, yeah, like hold out on pitting until closer to the end? Well, they they don't even want us to pit because we don't have to with the intermediates. Oh. Huh. So yeah, but... It'll be but up, to, up to us to, if we even want to pit at all. Right. I mean, pitting would give us speed advantage but if the ai doesn't pit i don't know i don't know if it would be worth it right yeah we'll have to analyze as we go okay, forward we, we cannot add fuel for the race here yes you can oh wait it's that it's the thing where i'm dumb and not looking at it right there we go hmm okay i don't know how much extra add i'll just put like that much in as I wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ready. Not the beautiful rain. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be smarter about things, man. Plan ahead. All right. Very good launch for both of us there. It's a... Yes, decent launch, but they, it seems like when they oh, go... Breaking in, shooting up between us there. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm God. I'm this wide. is I'm terrified. This is Collision with Perez. I yeah. didn't see him. There's a caution. I'm colliding with Raikkonen. I got a warning for colliding with a guy I couldn't see. Then again, I am in that cockpit view. That's probably part of the reason why. Alright, looks like I'm going to clear him for third. Somehow, but Vettel and Hamilton are gone. Or Botas, excuse me. Botas is in the lead currently. Yes. Good old boot. So, um, one big thing I know some of us have seen us play 2016, at least for me, I do the third person view. In 2016, the rain doesn't really affect your camera view in 2016, but in 2017, as... it definitely does. It's, it's, mu it's much worse in this game, especially when you're behind a guy and the spray is kicking up in your face real bad. Mm -hmm. But luckily, this is also light rain and not. Like heavy rain. Heavy rain is is really hard on cockpit view. The problem is I just cannot get a feel for these turns with uh, with the chase cam. I tried in the beginning and I was just like I I just can't nail these turns without being able to get up close mm -hmm. to the front wheel. So well, I'm right behind you. Oh God. Okay. I hope I don't get penalized for colliding with him. I, I got a warning for colliding with Botas. Okay. But we, we both had, had this one warning. I don't want another. <laughs> we both had the same idea there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Vettel trying to draft up on me here. Walk low. 
get prepared for whoa okay did you feel the car step out there no it actually drove Ooh. really nicely and i caught up on both us a ton that stepped out i watched that happen i i hit him a little bit oh i see exactly you get squirrely oh i forgot to raise the freaking in-game audio i apologize i know it's uh, somebody had, I think it was Mr. McClam had said he thought the game was a little quiet. I do apologize. I forgot to do it. It's okay. I'll, I'll add some effect. <laughs> <laughs> We're not riding horses there. <laughs> There's a lot of horsepower involved, but not actual horses. Oh gosh, I really smurfed that up. Okay. Okay. Metal and Riken are just breathing down my neck right now. I'm catching Botas, but he just seems to have more speed on the straightaway. Yeah. This rain is interesting, though, because I feel like... Maybe not you, but I feel like I would have been more at a disadvantage with the AI if it wasn't raining. Mm -hmm. Because they enter the corner so much more easily, and I'm obviously known for driving it in deep. And when it works, it really helps me a lot game time on them. But yeah, straightaways, they really do seem to close in a lot. So, interesting. I wonder if they were running the last downforce setup. It's possible. There is a pretty darn long straightaway there, so... I think that probably is the recommended setup for this track, is the less downforce, more high mm -hmm. speed. But... Oh, I was fast. As... No, I wasn't. You were fast. As... Learn to read, John. Reading is important. Oh, Aaron. All right, I'm coming inside. Coming inside. Okay, never mind. You somehow gained time through there. It's okay. Oh, turn vehicle. Dang it! I was catching him too. I, I, I might have. Yeah, that helped might... him out a lot. I might have had a shot at him in that corner had I not overdriven that. But he is definitely slower. I will say that. So He's slower think, in the corners, definitely. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be up to strategy if the rain does stop. And it will be between you and me to see who wins this thing. If we can catch Botox without screwing up. It is going to be difficult. So easy to make a huge mistake here and fly off the track, especially in the snail. Running on a dry track soon, he said. Oh dear. Weather report. Five to ten minutes more rain. Yeah. So we're gonna mm. have to really figure out if we wanna risk it and go on the soft tires early or not. Five to ten minutes, man. Like, that's such a big window of time, you know? Mm-hmm. It could be three more laps, or it could be six more laps. Maybe. And that, and that's when the rain stops. That's not when the track will be dry. Oh, God. <laughs> I have not been able to get that corner right yet. No, and I really had to break pretty hard there to avoid hitting you, and uh, that really closed the up on my bumper again. Well, I appreciate not hitting me. Also, Riken had the fastest lap there. Battle, watch out, man. Oh, I'm catching up to Botas. Oh, God, I need to not enter that so low. I was just really worried about him dive-bombing me like he just freaking did on the straight. Um, they said go to Mix 3. I guess I could. I'm a little scared of it in the rain. But... I've been on Mix 3 for a while. Yeah. Oh, Here I go. go. Boom, shakalaka. Here I go killing again. <laughs> People who watch Rick and Morty will know that reference. It's just like when you make Spongebob references that I don't get any. Yeah, but Spongebob is more universally watched than Rick and Morty. I would disagree, but I would say they're about equal these days. But more people have heard of SpongeBob because it's been around for so long. Yeah, in a couple of years, I feel like everybody will know Rick and Morty because it has been renewed for I think 
nine more seasons or something. <laughs> nine more seasons? I think so. Something like that. Oh, you got Rambo Toss too. I did. Now to see if I can catch up to you because you have jumped out to a nice little cushion here. Mm -hmm. But again, I do think this is going to ultimately come down to strategy. I agree. Who pits when and... Oh, good lord, I blew that. Okay. Uh, um, who pits when and how they the AI do it as well. Because mm -hmm. if, if we're like trying to outsmart each other and then the AI do something different, mm -hmm. then we can still end up losing the race. Yeah. And we also got to remember, we are teammates, so we're going to have to communicate a little bit on strategy, unfortunately. Right, yeah. You can't yeah. just be secret, secret, secret about it. Well, it's, it's like I said in the first episode. Yes, we want to we wanna win, and yes, we're competitive. We want to we wanna beat each other. But in order to, to make this as interesting as possible and to properly combat the AI and the difficulty we've chosen, uh, we need to take a more team approach to this. We understand that. And really, it's more about we're going to try to help Red Bull be manufacturer champion. So if, if you know... If we have to work together on that, spoil a little bit of strategy that we had or whatever, so be it. Mm -hmm. And remember our rule, whoever is leading will get preference on their strategy yes. call. But I think at this point, we're going to be so up in the air on when we're going to pit. We really won't know until the minute it stops raining. And honestly, it is stopping. It right is now. lightening up. Yes, it is. In fact maybe done entirely the track is wet but i'm not getting drops on my face really anymore yeah i s still have maybe one or two yeah but so definitely we're gonna have to see when it dries up because this could be very interesting we gotta hope that the ai doesn't try to undercut it because that could really mess with us Question is, what tires are the legal ones to switch to? Softs or super softs? I would go just super soft, depending on uh, depending on how long you want to go, really. Oh, I'm getting a few more drops, although I closed in on you. That could be why it could be flicking off you. Yo! Yo, yo, yo! I did close in on you. Holy cow. Oh, this snail. Yeah, we, if, if you're wondering what we mean by snail, we call that the snail turn. Because A, it's so slow, and B, it kind of looks like a snail shell. Spirals around and back up, yeah. It's wild. The funny thing is, as much as we've done this now, like, in practice and all this and that, I actually don't hate this track anymore. I just know that it... I'm, I'm not as strong as I need to be here, but honestly the rain is helping me because rain has always been sort of a thing that I'm halfway good at in these games for some reason. Mm -hmm. Like the, the the slower pace, the slidiness, I seem to have a better feel for things than I do it normally. Now there's some tracks I would not want to do in the rain for sure. Monaco. Monaco, any, any condition. Um, <laughs> But, um, Ozzy Barzy Bars should be a little hot in the rain as well. Yeah, I would have, I would hate to have to like break, especially for that one hairpin in mm -hmm. the rain with the AI and everything. Oh god, what a nightmare that would be. Weather report. Alright, we're clear on the radar, it says. So are you pitting this time? No. I'm going to. Alright. So this is John's chance right now. I'm going to go one more lap before I do anything. Well, my race is over. Penalty? No. I, I swear to God, I, I'm so mad right now. What? Wow. I really think I should retire from video games. 
What it's it's not good for my health. It's not good for my health, man. I almost had an aneurysm. Would you care to explain to my viewers what just happened? Yeah, I entered pit road, and my car didn't turn. Drove straight into a wall. Uh, had to back up, try to turn. Finally got it going again, and they reset me back onto the track instead of letting me complete my way down pit road. Mm. So, yeah, I'm screwed. The race is over for me. That's that. Well, I'll let you pit this time. I and don't. You I'm can not have pitting, it. Though. I'm not pitting either, so you need to pit. That's the only way to get an advantage and make up some time. No, because I've lost. I'm 13th. If you I do. pit again, I'll be dead last, and they're not going to pit, maybe. Even if they do, I'm you never. You do realize how big of a time difference intermediates versus super softs are, right? Well, it's, it's just like it's... Uh, 10 seconds per lap. They just time. reset me again for no reason. They stopped me, and what the frick just happened? All right, well, then I'll, I'll pit okay. next time, Bob. No, you do your strategy. Well, I just passed pit road, so I didn't realize pit road was that soon. Well, it doesn't matter when it is, because they don't freaking let you go down it anyway. God, I, I'm so mad. I don't understand what happened. Like... I really do not, but whatever. Okay, they're pitting. They I are? I, I guess I kind of have to, huh? Yeah, they're pitting. Not as a leader's pit, getting, but... I'm not going to gain any advantage, and I'm going to be 15th. Remember to go back to standard, by the way, or you're going to run out of gas. I've been on standard for a while now. Oh. I'm 19th. Everybody who pitted got out in front of me, so... So you definitely you you can't stay out, man. Not when them. Guys I'm pit, I'm pitting now. Yes. I was gonna say you can't do that. That'd be dumb. Pit road entry is weird. Very weird. Swing out too wide. Apparently they just put you back on the track. Well, Vettel stayed out. And so did Raikkonen, it looks like. But Botas came in with me. Yeah. Don't block me in, don't block me in, thank you. Alright. Grosjean's out of the race, by the way. Oh. Second week in a row. Yeah, he's not having a. And good Hamilton's time, 18th. Man. Oh wow. So. That's strange. Yep. Yeah, these guys are on intermediates, and I can't even catch them. So. Wait, they paid it just to go on intermediates. I, I don't know. I really don't know what's happening anymore. Honestly. Stro yeah, they went on intermediates. Yeah, Stroll well, just came off pit road with intermediates. Crap. So they must think it's going to rain again, huh? Or they don't think the tracks go dry. I don't know. The track seems... I mean, it's not dry, but... I don't know. I'm not sliding around on my super soft, so... Well, I sincerely hope I didn't just blow a win. I don't know how... I mean... It's definitely going to dry out. I mean, it's not really even raining anymore. The only precipitation seems to be from the track itself, so it's it's going to dry.
They're still not pitting up ahead. They will. Oh, Esteban Ocon just bummed me out. What? It was more my fault, but I didn't think I would spin out. <sighs> I really wish it was easier to restart races in this thing. <laughs> I agree. I would love a do-over. <laughs> I don't have time for a do-over, but I would love one as well. What position are you in? I'm fourth right now. Ocon's still right in front of me, but Vettel and Raikkonen stayed out. And technically started Ocon and Alonso behind me. I really don't care about that warning game. Massa deserved it. Oh, somebody just pitted. It wasn't. Oh, Palmer. Alright, passing Ocon. Am I going to clear him? No, of course not. Why would I be able to clear him? DRS yeah. is in the way. Ocon, you jerk face! Did you get spun again? No, he tried very hard, though. Rival system in effect here. Tried very freaking hard. For the record, I know there's not a rivalry system. I was making a joke regarding Aaron's NASCAR V2 experience. He had every rival that you could possibly have. Yes, except for, who was it, Ricky Stenhouse, no, Kyle Larson, I believe it was. Yeah, you had like one or two guys that didn't hang in, that was about it. Mm -hmm. Um, a rivalry system in this game would be interesting, but I feel like it wouldn't be true to life in one sense, in that, like, they, they can't really make contact with you. Mm -hmm. without ruining themselves if like if damage was on um so my thought on that would be that uh all righty i just overdrove that corner to death they they could have it where they like block more i guess if you're around they're like oh i hate this guy i'm gonna block him super heavy but they do that anyway <laughs> Quite honest. exactly uh, i'm actually gonna get durs here I, i've made up some spots because they they slowed down a ton i don't know if it's because the tracks dried out more and they're still in intermediates or what what it is, but Vettel and Raikkonen still haven't pitted, and they're so far ahead of me. I don't think I have time to catch them, even if my tires are right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, obviously, the the spin cost you time too. Whoops! Dang it, freaking guy! Why'd you have to stop so hard? All right, some more people pitted. I'm in the points, so that's good. just a matter of like you know what could have been right mm -hmm. I really think I um I really think I had something for the for the win but eh, whatever it's a long season it is but if the same people win a couple weeks in a row we were pretty much done because we're <laughs> getting like 25 points off man right? Okay, so I'm running blistering time compared to my uh, fastest lap right now. That's good. So that's good. But again, if they don't pit, I don't think I can catch them, even with this pace. Right. Track isn't fully dry yet, either. It would be nice mm -hmm. if it would fully dry out. Then these guys on intermediates would be in big trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not very sunny out. Yeah, and I'm still picking up water with my tires, so. better than it was obviously but it's just not enough i'm so far behind everybody else even if they all pit i'm not catching up beyond this nice good job that, that was two seconds faster than my previous fastest lap at least yeah it was three seconds faster than my fastest lap <laughs> Dang it, I messed up the hairpin but i don't even see those two on my map anymore and it doesn't look like anybody pitted that time. Well, actually, no. Somebody is coming off pit road, but they're going to get out before me, I think. Oh, hey, hey, John. Look at me. Oh, and I did get beat somebody off there. Oh, it was Ocon. Oh, all right. All right. <clears throat> so I, I guess the Ferrari guys just are staying out this whole time. It's too, too late to pit, in my mind. I mean... 
Yeah. I... I guess you could have stayed out probably in one, huh? Yeah. I assumed they would pit. When I saw the back half pitting, I was like, well, the rest of them will pit then shortly. It's been a weird array of mixed strategies, though. It's like Van Dorn is in sixth right now. Mm -hmm. And he's on intermediates. So you would think he would have pitted, but he still hasn't. So I don't know. I'm aware that the guy behind me has the tires. Don't to tell me everything. I'm being petty now. And not the Richard kind. Lol. <sighs> nice. It's getting faster and faster, but I'm gonna. I, I actually, I, I see them on the map now. Again, I just don't think I have enough time. Right. Oh, Van Dorn just pitted. Up to sixth. Botas is on pit road. I'm up to fifth. Oh, I got the fastest lap. I didn't even remember to Durs either. Well, you back on Rich? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking it's probably close enough. It's pretty close, but I might have to go back to standard at some point. But I see Alonzo up ahead of me. If he doesn't pit, I can't catch him. But if he does. That would be fourth. These Ferraris are ruining everything. <laughs> Pretty much, but I am catching them at an exponential rate. But we are coming to the white flag. Yeah, sponsored by Ferrari. <laughs> Essentially. I wonder how much this actually happens in F1. I don't watch enough to know, but do you guys really stretch their tires this much? I, I have no idea. I've never watched Dwayne Rose. You know, I said I wasn't gonna catch Alonzo. I totally caught Alonzo. Yeah, they're so slow right now. They're incredibly slow on those tires. I might have a shot at this, honestly. I'm 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 gonna get Alonzo here, so that's good. Yep, goodbye. Fernando. Okay, not a great hairpin. It's fine. <clears throat> Oh, yep, I see them now. Go, Aaron, go. I am going to have to go back to standard, though, unfortunately. Yo. That's the sign. It do make me sad that I'm not up there with you, but... Yeah, you definitely could have beat me. I don't know about beat, but I think we would have had a heck of a race. Alright, Raikkonen's right here. Let's see how easy I can pass him. I'm going on the outside. It's gonna have to be quick and fast. Alright, past Raikkonen and Vettel's right here. I don't have much time left though. Frickin' Lewis Hamilton. Oh, I'm diving it in deep. I got it! Nice. I wish I wasn't a million miles away. I'd love to get a podium. Oh my god, I caught, they, they were like 15 yeah. seconds ahead of me. Yeah, I can't stretch Rich any longer, it's got to be back to standard. I, I honestly am, I'm, I'm wishing I was getting a podium, but you know what, for somebody who hit a wall, had to hit, go in reverse, got reset onto the track twice for some reason, and then had to pit again anyway. I'll take fourth. <laughs> that is another win for the happy dog. Congratulations, Aaron. Well deserved. First win of the playthrough. And I will accept a fourth place finish. And I just set the fastest lap again. <laughs> uh, is my heart hurting a little? Yeah. 
I, I, I still don't understand what happened, but yeah. I would love to have been on the podium with you at least, but. Right. Oh, well. But These here Ferraris, we are. They stretched it. Yep. And ultimately, they were about where they were going to be. But yeah. still, that was a very good finish. <laughs> Let's drench the cameraman here. Go, Americans. I would, oh, sing, yeah. I would sing the national anthem, but I know John will murder my face if I do. <laughs> yeah. Actually, this is very interesting to look at here. Um, Vettel, Raikkonen, Alonso did not pit at all. Mm. Uh, and well, Grosjean was out, so he did pit, of course. Um, Botas, Hamilton, Hulkenberg, they all pitted twice, all these guys. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Massa. Okay. So Hamilton was way back and still finished 10th because he put on good tires at the end, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let's check the standings from here. So I am still in second. John is in fifth. Mm -hmm. While John mm -hmm. is still in fifth, I moved up to second. That's what I was going to say. I am yeah. six points behind Vettel. Mm -hmm. So, and then the Constructors' Championship, we are 14 points behind Ferrari. And Force yeah. India moved up to third. Yeah, they sure did. Mercedes has not been doing well. Well, Hamilton hasn't been doing well. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hamilton um, is 13th in points right now. So I gained points on Botos. Mm -hmm. But I didn't move up, so. I've got, I've got, I gotta, I gotta work on that. Um, yep. 21 points, though, isn't impossible if I were to get a win, you know? Yeah. Right back well, in it, so that's good. Let's check the race director, see what kind of incidents we had here. Uh, lots of incidents. Quite a few, in fact. <laughs> yeah. So I only had one for my collision with Botas on the start. And John had two, Massa and Perez. But the AI were going crazy as well. Yeah, looks like they had quite a few issues, uh, for sure. And Grosjean well, you, had a mechanical failure. I think it was a chain reaction because you collided with Perez. Perez, uh, Palmer colli collided with Perez. Science collided with Palmer. Yeah, and that Perez, first lap and, was crazy. Yeah. So I think it was kind of a chain reaction there. And then on the 10th lap, Hulkenberg and Perez got together. Yeah. But um, no penalty, just a lot of warnings. Ocon was corner cut. <laughs> yeah. Freaking guy. Okay, okay, uh, and then have... uh, well, I was just gonna say real quick. I'm pretty sure I had the fastest lap. Yeah, one forty three ten uh, was my final lap of the race, and it was uh, my fastest. It looks like I could have shaved even a little bit more off that if my last sector had been as good as the previous lap. But wow, you were over a second faster than my best bestest lap. I I would love to know. Like, how far did it behind? 24 seconds? Yeah. Did my series of incidents add up to that much, or would you still have had that advantage? No one well, will ever know. Yeah, your series of incidents caused you to be in traffic, which slowed you down even more. So I definitely think you would have been up there, probably would have won, honestly. We'll see. Well, not we'll see. We'll, we'll never know. <laughs> yes, let's head back to the menu. Indeed. Let's see where we're going next. I believe it's Bahrain. I think so. But we will wait for players. Take a last look at the worst track in the history of tracks. No, uh, it's fine. Um, yeah, Bahrain. You, Bahrain is next. And mm -hmm. there's an, another look at the standings. Unless if John has anything else to add, we're going to end it there. I want to add that I'm sorry for getting upset, but I think I did a good job of biting my tongue, breathing, and just putting my head down and, and coming back. Um, I'm, I'm really trying to be more patient with this, and I think given the track I was at there and that whole crazy strategy situation and the mess I was in, um, I'm, I'm happy with a fourth-place finish, and I'm happy for you, Aaron, because you deserve that one. Well, thank you very much, and hopefully you'll be up there getting wins. 
uh, soon. We'll see. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content from ATF Gaming or Jonathan Wolf's UFDA, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and click that notification bell so you get notifications every single time we post a video. And we will see you next time for Bahrain. Bye.